Federal Reserve policymakers began a two-day meeting today with a statement on interest rates expected tomorrow. But many on Wall Street are looking past this meeting and ahead to possible moves later this year. Steve Leisman has more. Wall Street not expecting much from the Fed tomorrow, but debating what happens with monetary policy the rest of the year. 98% of respondents to the CNBC Fed survey expect the central bank to stay on hold at its meeting this week. But looking ahead, 65% say the next rate hike is in June. Some say a little bit later. 53% say there'll be three rate hikes this year. Some say two, some say four. But 71% say the balance sheet, that $4.4 trillion of assets the Fed has, it will be begin to decline by January 2018. As for where the Fed funds rate goes, we're at 0.88 now. Look for 1.4 in 2017, 2.2 2 in 2018, 2.7 2 in 2019. And we get up to that long run rate, call it 3%. Uh, thereafter. That's where the long run rate is supposed to be. As for the outlook for stocks, you can see not much more expected from current levels this year. Just about a percentage point is the average forecast for the S&P to 2409. But a little more next year, a 7% gain seen from current levels to 2564. The reason is because they've moved the expectations for fiscal policy from the Trump administration from 2017 to 2018. And now looking ahead at what's behind the rally, Back in December, 18% thought it was economic fundamentals and earnings, and 82% said policy expectations. Big change in that right now. 50% say it's economic fundamentals and corporate profits. 48% say it's policy expectations. Respondents look for two and a quarter percent GDP growth this year with a small bump from fiscal policies from the Trump administration. The biggest risk, though, protectionist policies from the Trump administration. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.